Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Spider-Man Miles Morales figure. Uh, I found them at Walmart today, so I grabbed them. So let's go over the packaging first. So first you get the Gamerverse logo here, Spider-Man Miles Morales at the bottom. Here is a cider of the box art um, from the game here. Here is the back with that same box art uh, from the game disc here. And in the description, Marvel Legends logo here. Here we would be building Armadillo. Uh, we already went over an integrated suit. There's Black and Gold suit, Doctor Strange, JJ, Miles Morales, which we're doing right now, Mortalin, and then Shriek. Here's the other side art. Here is the top with the red spider logo varnished. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. Bobby says that. Let's crack them open. And here is Miles Morales out of the package. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Armadillo's left leg, right leg, I mean. Uh, so we'll go over that once we build them. And then we got an extra head sculpt for him, the unmasked version. Uh, looks pretty close. I'm not sure. It doesn't quite look like what he looks like in the game. Um, the sculpt is just, I don't know. I don't think it matches well uh, from the face from the game. But it's, uh, it's okay, I guess. But it looks pretty good. You get the eyes there. The hair looks good. I don't see any scuffing at all. So it looks pretty good. But, yeah, my only downside is that the hair might be throwing it off because he had a fade, kind of, in the game. Uh, but, yeah, it's okay. Not too bad. And then you get these electrified hands here. So they are uh, transparent, plastic, uh, and yellow. And you get some electrified uh, sculpts connected to it or glued on there. So, yeah, soft plastic there glued on there. So just be careful. But they do articulate also, so that's nice. And they're basically relaxed hands. I think they just kind of just glued them on there, the electric stuff on there. So, yeah, you get two of those, one for each hand. And then you get two wall crawling hands here. I like the metallic knuckle uh, protectors there with the red, especially on the thumb too. And then you get some red fingers. And then you get the black for the rest. You get some nice sculpting there for the padding. So it looks pretty cool. And you get two of those, which we rarely ever get. So I wasn't sure if we were getting the wall crawling hands or not. And then we also get two fisted hands here. So yeah, you also get that knuckle protectors there. Get some padding. Looks pretty good. And you get two of those. And you also got two twipping hands, which we'll go over here in a second. But here is Miles Morales up close. So I really like this figure a lot. I love the texturing and detailing on this and the paint job. So let's go over this real quick. So throughout the entire figure, you get this like sculpt that is kind of like, um, it has like a pattern to it. I don't know how to describe the pattern. It kind of has like the little rectangles in there for sculpt uh, for the inner part of the main part with all the webbing and stuff. And then you get the red lenses here. You get some, like, the squinting effects kind of going on in there. I'm not quite sure. And you get the nice crisp red uh, red cobwebbings. You get a little bit of splotch in there, though. Not too bad, though. I like this a lot. And then I don't know what the deal is because with this owl because the uh, integrated suit had the same thing, too. Um, so I don't know if that's for, like, the... Uh, Double ball joints, maybe? I'm not sure, but I don't know what the deal is right here. And then you get this cool spider here, but it looks like it's not sculpted on there. It's just painted over that same texturing. Same thing with the webbing, I think. And then you get the red lines around. It's like a metallic look right here, whereas this one is just a flat red. You get some scuffing in there, the black there. And then here's the other side. Kind of get some red bleeding through. Eh, it's not too bad. Here's the back. They also continue that on. And you get the spider here. So it looks pretty cool. Yeah, you get a lot of bleeding here, it looks like. That's a oof. Uh, but yeah, if you could tell, this one seems like a brighter red, whereas right here on the actual torso, it's uh, like a metallic look. And then the butterfly joints, you could definitely, like, you could see the difference kind of here. It's more reflective here, whereas this one is like cherry red. Yeah, you can definitely see that. And then throughout the sculpt, sculpting here, you get that nice line there. 
And then you get the twipping hands with the knuckle protectors, like I said, with some padding. I wish they did the web shooters for him. I wish they added web shooters on him. And then here is some sculpting around it. You get this belt around his waist, kind of. And you get some more sculpting around there. You get that V look, upside down V on his knee. You got pinless joints for both elbows and knees. And then here is his feet. You get some red detailing in there, but not a whole lot. And you get some sculpting. But yeah, that's really all we got for looks. So let's go over the articulation. So he has a double ball jointed head, like I said. So you can look down that far. You can look up that far. You can look left and right. All sorts of head pivoting there. His shoulders can move out just that far. He has a butterfly joint that goes back that far, forward that far. 360 rotation, biceps hole, double jointed elbows that go that much. Wrist can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. He has an app crunch so he can go forward that much, backwards that much. He has a waist swivel, 360 rotation there. Legs kick it out. Pretty good out that way. Forward, not so uh, now a lot, but a decent amount. Backwards, a bit. And he has an upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees there, but kick. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's the Spider-Man Miles Morales figure for you. I really like this figure. Um, the only downsides that I really have are there's some paint bleeding through, there's paint splotches, but like I said, I'm not going to lose sleep over those mistakes. Um, I am a little bummed out that this is not really a accurate head sculpt or look to Miles Morales from the game. So, I mean, they could have improved upon that, but they did improve. So, if you look back at the Spider-Man PS4 figure, which I do have, it's, I'll just pull them out real quick here. Since he's right next to me and I drop all the figures. So, this is the Spider-Man PS4 figure that we got from a while back like a couple years ago yeah i'm i'm not feeling this figure um it's just a flat out figure based off of the uh spider uk spider-man uh same body mold and all that stuff even the face for it is like that so i wish they do i hope they do a redo on this i mean it's a cool figure but still it's not accurate he's too buff like he's too wide and buffy from compared to the game and the sculpts don't really match well or the paint really so i mean the back looks good but just like eh, i'm not sure i hope they do a redo on this spider-man ps4 suit um at some point but yeah this is what we got and but they did do a great job on the suit itself for spider-man miles morales game it's just a face sculpt. I'm not sure. I'm not feeling it. But this figure looks awesome. Just like this with the mask on. It's awesome. I love the sculpt. I love the paint. Except for those paint splotches. But it's not going to bother me that much. Um, the shoulders and the torso. Red is a little different it seems like I said. So this one's like a more cherry red. Whereas this one's metallic. Um, and then the spider here. It's not sculpted or anything like that. It's just. They painted this spider on top of the sculpt, so it looks a little weird and funky, but it's not too bad. And I like the hands accessories that they added in. They added wall crawling hands, just uh, electrified hands, twipping hands, and fisted hands. So I hope they do more of that throughout the rest of the Spider-Man figures because we need more wall crawling hands that kind of match well with all of them. We don't have wall crawling hands for... You know, the retro Spider-Man. So, yeah, I really like this figure. Um, like I said, I already told you the downsides on this, but it's way better than the PS4 Spider-Man from a couple years back. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really got. Uh, make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description. Uh, it has my Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and all that good stuff on there. So, if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. Uh, but besides that, thanks for watching.